All right, guys, what is up? Dusty Roads here with Chasing the Wild, just getting to the stream. And it is late May, May 25th. Um, coming to some water that I haven't fished for a while. None at all this year. And it has produced some big fish in the past. And I'm going to work up through here and hopefully find something. Stay tuned. Water conditions are pretty tasty by the looks of it. Oh, and I just realized I have a hole in the right bottom booty of my freshly repaired waders. It's seeping in a little wee bit. How you'll have that on them big jobs. Yeah, I can get away with a little bit longer casts overhand on this stream. It's a little more wide open and um, just in general has, I may be able to cast further. And honestly, casting further doesn't hurt because the further ahead you get, the less you're going to spook, in theory. Now, the only disadvantage of this stream is it's extremely deep. It has deep, a lot of deep areas. Um, and the edges are also deep with cover. And these bigger fish will get up under this cover. And if you don't get your cast, close enough to them you're kind of wasting your time unfortunately we got an issue here I need to deal with I'm hoping no 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 absolutely not absolutely freaking not I'm gonna put a cast over here just for the hell of it but there's a little ducks over in there and I'm 100% saying it. I just got to get Mama to go back here is all because if she keeps going up through here, it's going to keep screwing me. Guys, right, lesson, if you ever see a redhead duck, ducks with chicklets, slip up in the woods and go around them. They will just keep flapping up the, the water, screwing everything up the whole way. So just word to the wise. All right, working up this stream a ways further from where I was. Um, having a hard time finding spots where people haven't been fishing already today. Fresh boot prints on a small stream like this just uh, generally resort into a uh, zero number. So that's what I'm dealing with at the moment. All right, anytime I come to a spot with a little bit of depth, gotta kick the old cam on here. And I have unfortunately got struck out on big fish here so far, guys. Not catching them, not seeing them. Which I get it, that's part of fishing, but uh. For me. <laughs> Another nice deep looking spot here. We'll see if it might uh, produce nothing like the rest of them have. <laughs> Get 
getting completely struck out up through here. Just thinking suspicion that I'm fishing over someone else's boot prints here. I just saw a track down below here and uh, literally been seeing zero fish, which has me questioning everything about everything because this creek is loaded typically. All right, we're definitely coming to some area up through here that doesn't look horrible. Which has been <laughs> the whole way. And uh, I'm just hoping to finally get a snag in a spot where I feel like I would have caught a fish. That's what I needed right there. Yeah, that's what I needed. All right, well, I'm gonna go remove this. Kicking myself the whole way. All right. So I've established that I'm following somebody's fresh boot prints, guys. That's big. That's big. Definitely big. <laughs> it's funny that I say that. Fall on somebody's boot prints and cast out, and there's a freaking giant. Look at that, dude. Oh man, I <laughs> Hook pops out, hook pops out. Freaking solid male. Beautiful male. I'd say 22 all day long. Absolute stud. <laughs> if he ain't 22, he's definitely 21. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, right in the undercut. Apparently, that guy overlooked that, or maybe I'm just... I don't know. I know I saw his freaking boot prints. <laughs> all right, well... I'm gonna set up here real quick and uh, grab a little shot of this dude and get him back in here up under his back. This absolute slab where I just got off and the back here. Hmm. You gotta be pretty delicate with this fish here because he wants to. He wants to do some nasty things right now. <laughs> oh, 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 bless it. There goes a hamstring cramp. <laughs> Get a little more water in me. Alright guys, I'm gonna get this big dude released here. He's gone. I was gonna say he's, I'm not sure where he went. He's in there. It's starting to rain on me a little bit, I believe. Might get a little storm. I'm pretty sure I just heard a little thunder. Um, apparently this guy's overlooking a little bit. They fished up through here because I am fishing over fresh boot prints. Some of you guys are like, yeah, big deal. Well, on a small stream like this, someone that has already fished it that knows what they're doing, you're pretty much wasting your time fishing behind them but I just proved that he missed one so work up through here and see if I can uh, maybe find another one they missed or you know his strategy is just a little different maybe the fish just aren't taking his stuff so cool stuff anyhow one under the belt let's go get another one all right this little undercut right here that big dude just came out of awesome as it gets wow that was horrible Boomer. Oh my god, another one. 
Another one out of the other, 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 under, ah, the other undercut. <laughs> so, two fish. One big one in that undercut, uh, pushing that 14 incher. And the other undercut. Both 100% wild browns. This guy is just full of it. Ah, this guy's pushing 15, but he's. I'm still calling him a in the 14 bracket. Barbless hooks at their finest. He's pushing 15. He's just beautiful regardless. Whether he's 14 or 15. All right, there's a chance maybe this fellow uh, that I was following maybe bailed out or just skipped this spot. Who knows? I'm glad he did regardless. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just tabbed up essentially over in the uh, canopy there for a minute because it let up and I came back out. Uh, seems to be doing some different things again. There's the let up maybe. Maybe. I seem to pull down because I... Got a weird sensation. I wasn't sure if the old lightning was bearing down on me. So got rid of it. Kind of hoping that it doesn't continue this the whole time. Like this little shower here will likely really activate things, I would think. <laughs> It's raining hard. <laughs> I don't know if there's much difference between the creek. That's a neat little trick. Something I never did before. Hoping there ain't no poisonous snakes up in this bitch. I think they're good. Honestly. Wish I would have saw this earlier. I provided this son of a bitch doesn't cave in on me. <laughs> Topple over. <laughs> this is a pretty slick idea. Dry as heck right here. There's just a little shelf, and my wager's the only thing sticking out. So. Nice. I wouldn't want to sleep here, but keeping semi dry for a second. All right, I'm gonna shut her down so it lets up. All right, guys, found a nice little recessed bank here, which I wish I would have found a little bit earlier, because I'm completely soaked, but. Gonna grab a little snack here. This. <laughs> and continue to work my way upstream here. Hopefully finding a couple more of what I just found right below here. That was uh exciting. Obviously. <laughs> when you catch a 20. It's exciting. Something to look out for though. You don't see them like that very often whether you can actually get underneath of it. But I saw it as being safe enough. Nice root base here. All right. Let's move on. Enough jibber jabber but i'll tell you what it did give me a little perspective on things while i was sitting under there some things a person might want to learn how to do in case anything ever goes real bad the way the world gets to have the way the world is going learn how to make fire <laughs> and uh think about stuff to eat because i was sitting under there thinking man if i was actually living out here 
what the hell would you eat after a few days, you know? I mean, when you really think about it, if you didn't have something to cook with, you're going to get hungry. And I mean, raw fish, mm. Anyhow, food for thought, moving on. All right, guys, of course, first cast right into there. I get this beautiful little wild brown here. These barbless hooks do their trick. Ooh, and he's wrapped also. There we go. Gorgeous pattern on this little dude. Alright, so apparently I'm going to have to uh, turn my camera on from now on when I come to a spot that looks like that. There used to be some beaver dams up in this stretch of creek and I was hoping that they were still going to be there because naturally <clears throat> beaver dams produce some bigger fish. But we'll see if they're still up in here or not. Guys, I just popped out here. It doesn't get any prettier than this. Now what it hopefully does is get a little fishy right here. Oh my god! <sighs> Alright, let's try that again guys. Holy crap. That was a good one. Are you kidding me? That was like a... 16 to 18. All right, that's the kind of stuff they're hiding in. That's what I was hoping for up through here. All right, I'm gonna. I know how I could catch his fish, but I'm not sure I'm going to. I think I'm just gonna. Oh boy. E. Yeah, he's done. He came out once. Well, that's cool though. All right guys, this upper section of this stream is absolutely loaded. I've moved two fish that were 16 to 18 inches. And like every nook and cranny that's got a little depth to it, except for this one, <laughs> they are coming out and smashing. So, Pretty cool, um, pretty cool stuff. All right. Had some bull crap happen there. That was garbage. Oh my God. What is going on with this? My line is like catching before it casts. <laughs> Not exactly ideal. All right, let's see if she's a little smoother now. Oh, great. This might not be horrible right here if I can get one in there. Oh, for sure. For sure. This, this is the old beaver dam, where the old beaver dam was. And, um... Ooh. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, that dog will hunt. <laughs> I was wondering if there was anything like that there. That dude is... Thick. Thick, thick. Oh boy. Okay. All right. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a quick thing here because it just needs done. 
I'd say. I didn't exactly see where it was, but it, it was it was not right in the roof of his mouth, we'll put it that way. Alright buddy. Open her up here. Give me just a quick look. Yes. And just a fast look. That's all I need here. Why is that not popping out of there? Why is that not popping out of there, dude? Why is that not popping? All right, we got her. All right, guys, I'm gonna do this real fast here. 20 inch fish all day long. I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you here real fast, and then I'm gonna get him back in there because he is. No, I'm not. <laughs> you saw him. He was orange. He was beautiful. He'd be right at 20 and. That's awesome. I mean, this freaking creek is like not big. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. But um, what happened here was there used to be a beaver dam right there. So once stuff like this blows out fish like that have to move someplace so that's exactly what happened right there awesome stuff i'm gonna work up on up through here and hope to find maybe even something bigger than that who knows starting to get up where it appears like the creek might still have a little beaver damage in it in that case might find some more bigger stuff up through here Oh yes, oh yes. Oh, oh yes. Oh, good Lord. All right, I'm gonna do, a thing over here, by the looks of it. Okay, is it deep? No. And I hate breaking all these dang branches. I'm trying not to, but they're just, every step, snap. <laughs> all right, these are the spots here where there could be Mr. and Mrs. Biggs. A thousand percent. Oh my God, guys. I just saw an absolute giant something. I don't know what, whether it was a trout or what, but right under this tree went sideways. If that was a trout and not a sucker, holy crap. It, it went sideways right there. These could be suckers. I don't know how a sucker would get up in here from the spawn, but I'm gonna try this. Boy, these skeeters are really, really bad right here. Oh my God. I think I need to... Oh, Jesus. All right, let's do this. There we go. Oh my God, it must have been a sucker. It must have been a sucker, it's just not in or rested. Oh, damn it. God, I got a cast over this freaking branch right here. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god! Take it! <gasps> yes! That's how you do it right there, guys. That is how you do it. That's an old musky tack I've been using lately. When they miss, 
cast back out. Look at this beast. No doubt pushing the 22 mark. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at the colors on this thing. Look at the colors. Come on, dude, pop out. There we go. All right, guys, I'm going to snag a couple shots here of this big hog and uh, get him back in here. <laughs> All right, guys. This dude's going to want to be extra special feisty, but I'm going to show you as best I can here. He's big, he's big. He might be pushing 23 inches, honestly. <laughs> I reached for my GoPro, <laughs> flopped it in the water, <laughs> let the fish go. <laughs> Everything happened at once. It's, it, it rarely works perfect. It's pouring. I'm not pouring. It was pouring earlier. It's a good day. <laughs> it's a good freaking day right now. May 25th, and I'm telling you what, it's turning out to be a banger. This weather it's good. Only getting better. All right, gang, just hiked a mile and a half up this creek, probably. Come to another beaver dam section. This is so beautiful up in here. But the creek uh, flows from right there and goes right there, that way, through all that hemlock crap. So I'm gonna, nice open area here. I'm gonna look pretty deep out here. Hopefully find something. I can't imagine there's going to be big fish the whole way up through this. And it, even though this, it's small up in here. But we're going to work it and see what we come up with. So. Cripe, there might, might not even be fish up in here. I would think that this would be, but... Oh, man, that's decent. <laughs> All right, they're in here. Jeez. Oh, dude. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Dude pushing, I'd call them in the 15s range. Pushing 16 probably now. Absolute gem. Straighten the lip. Oh, there he's off. Good. Come here, buddy. Man, these things are pretty. Yeah, this fish is 16 inches. But look, look at the spot pattern on these fish. I mean, just that's how I need to actually do it from now on. <laughs> Thanks, bud. He's like, you kept me out long enough. Thank you very much. <laughs> Water is really icy cold, though, so nice. Well, if there's a 16 inch way up in here, all right guys i'm gonna head back to the woods here and probably head for the vehicle honestly good stuff though man it's been a good day 
So if I do not hit any more stretches, which I'm probably going to, I'll catch all you guys on the next episode.